missing what so many of others, a Christian family around, that wonder and that joy just knowing that it is real, that he is alive, and that we're a part of that, and forever will be. We had uh, heard that our twin baby granddaughters were born Thursday. Mm -hmm. So that was a joy yesterday to, to know that when God lets things keep happening, it gives us hope, doesn't it? We think of new life and new birth, to be alive, the grand feeling, because we are alive and, and in Christ. Ezekiel says, Thus saith the Lord, Behold my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of the graves, bring you into the land of Israel, and you will know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, my people, and brought you up out. And I shall put my spirit in you, and you shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. And you will know that I, the Lord, have said it, and I have done it to the Lord. Psalm 97 reminds us, the Lord reigns righteousness and justice, the foundation of the throne. Fire goes before him, consumes his foes on every side. The lightning lights up the world. The earth sees, trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Do we see his glory? All around us. All around us. Life coming back. Springtime. Babies. <laughs> babies. <laughs> yeah, babies. The promise, you know, all around us. How the promises of God were, were made from the earliest days. Happy Easter. Early on the first day of the week, it was still dark, and Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed, and she ran and went to Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb. We don't know where they have laid him. And Peter and the other disciples set out and went to the tomb. And they were running. But the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And he bent down and looked in and saw the linen wrappings lying there. But he didn't go in. Simon, and Simon Peter came following and went into the tomb. And he saw the linen wrappings just lying there and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Oh, yeah.